What are we going to do with Green Fingered Hell this year? This year, can you... I love saying that, Nadia. This year on Green Fingered Hell. You know, Mr. Midnight, one of our followers said, it's like it's a season. Yeah. It's like the new season, literally seasonal season of Green Fingered Hell. Anyway, tonight I'm going to do a little micro film about planting some seeds in trays. I'm going to show you what I'm going to plant. I'm going to plant them. I'm going to put them in my new greenhouse in the corner of the garden and I'm going to get very excited about it. But what we're going to do generally across this season is shoot little bits across the week and compile them with a big splurge of stuff at the weekend and put them out once a week like that. I think that might work. What the hell have you got on? Yoga socks, Dina bought them for me. When she was in Spain, isn't that sweet of her? That's very sweet. I'm very stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say it. it. That's for you, that is. Oh, God. Come on. What? Oh, I hate your presents, babe. What? They're always dead plants or onions. <laughs> this one isn't. I don't promise. think I can do any more. Oh, wow, it's onions. This this isn't, this isn't that. This is, this is something more. Oh, it's going to be something rubbish again. Yeah, have a look. Get a knife. Get a knife. Use your toenails. Can I be honest and say I'm not excited? <sighs> you used to love presents from me. Yeah, but darling, they did used to be other things apart from onions. I get you all sorts of things. I don't just buy you onions. And when you buy me other things that aren't onions, I like them. That's your yeah. lot. How much have I loved my flowers? useless to open things, aren't you? Look at you, give it some away. You know why I was a bit embarrassed with it? Because every time I was cutting, my arm, my dinner lady arm was flapping. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to do no. it without one. And then I thought, fuck it, there we go. There's my dinner lady arm. And there's my babies. Oh, come on. You excited now? No. You're excited it's now. Gonna, it's feeling like it's going to be onions. And what are we, how long am I going to have this in the hall? You excited now? No. Be careful because it's going to Oh! Oh, I'm getting more excited. Oh, is it nice pots? Oh, I like this. You're really not someone who enjoys the journey, are you? Of getting to a nice garden. You want it all landed by Alan Titchmarsh in one big flat yeah. go. I want him to come round and do me a surprise. You just want someone surprise. to come round. And then, and then I'll come in and I'll cry. Why don't you just bother off for a month and I'll just Yeah, all right. Ooh. Probably take great care of Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? I like them. Well, then. They're very handmade. They're very handmade, aren't they? <laughs> wow. Jesus, I mean, they look like they were made by, I don't know, someone who was a bit challenged. <laughs> they're not as big as I thought they were going to be either. Not very big, are they? <laughs> Let's face it, they're not, these are the biggest you can get. Hey, Mark, they're, I, I'm not sure if you made them. <laughs> Cheap. They they need to go back. They weren't cheap. They're, oh, I mean, they're not rustic. Somebody's kids made these, and it's not our kids, so it's not going to be as good because it's not our kids. <laughs> they're awful. Somebody said we should paint yoghurt on just pots and we'll get a really oh, nice... Oh, it looks like someone's spat yoghurt on that <laughs> one. Mark, they've got to go back. They're, they're not fit for purpose. They are not. Is this the thing you showed me in the photograph? Yes. This is nothing like it. This is horrible. How much was it? 
I'm not going to say. Fuck. I'm not going to say how oh much they God, were. I was really trying to make my face do things, but Mark, this is shit. It, I mean, come on, it is, isn't it? We can't pay for this. We've paid Just for it. What, well, that bit, I don't mind so much. That's quite what rustic. That? But that looks diabolical. Is that really it? Oh, God, this is so annoying. I mean, we could live with them. Oh. We'll live with them. Look like somebody's kids, mate. Yeah, but once it's full of soil. <laughs> Mark, show them a top shot of how wonky it is. Oh, they're really, that's really nice, babe. Thanks. <laughs> Fucking hell. Fucking hell, the skip's too small, the pot's too small. I can't no, be I never bothered. The pot was too small, but I was saying the pot looks like somebody's kid made it, but it's not our kid. I mean, we could pretend Maddie and Kiki made them. Well, for a hundred quid. A hundred quid! For all four? 25 for pounds! Four? 25 pounds! 25 quid! What well, for that and the dish? Does the dish fit? Get the dish out! Oh my god! Does that sit in the dish? Yeah, it does. Oh, it looks quite nice like that. 25 quid! Who the do they think they are? 25 quid! It did look nicer than that on the website. Oh, I mean, the photograph. You saw the so photos. Go and look at it, guys. Go Where back to our vlog. Shop? Sarah Craven. Sarah Raven. <laughs> Ra Go Stark and... Raven mad! Go and have a look on the website and see what you think. I think, well, we, I, mean, I, think I can work with them. Yeah, but I mean, we'll never buy anything from there But again, that's it. Because it's a con. That's it. I'm... We can't be asked to send it back, can we? That is literally green fingered Thanks, hell. I tried. It was really nice of you, and I had seen it, and I did like it in the on the on the website. Looks like something I've <laughs> just done in my first pottery <laughs> club. <laughs> Doesn't it? It's like somebody went from making a wheel pot to being able to go, you know, one of those snake pots to being allowed to go on the wheel. But then sort of went in a frenzied attack with a paintbrush. Because it's not rustico. It's not rustic. It's just shit. No, but someone's gone like this with a paintbrush. It's rust shit, not rustic. Rust shit, that's good. Rust shit. It's frenzy paintwork as well, isn't it? It's just like, yeah, oh, it's not. It's like, oh, look at that. Ah. What's that? Somebody's just gone there, make it rustic. You felt them. Look at all, the inside. You almost can feel them saying, fucking Fuck rustic. They're all arseholes. It's all arseholes. Rustic, spending 25 quid on a Let's fucking pot. Let's give them something old. Let's give them something shit from our gut. Yeah. Hey, Jerry, who's seven, go make us something. Let's yeah. cover it and shit. They won't be asked to take it back to the post office. Yeah, as They'll we can't. With it. But guess what? We'll never buy anything from you again. Up there thinking, don't ever dancing. Up the thinking down they're, the not even a, they're not even a good rubbish. enough size to put something sizable. I don't know. Daffodils? Daffodils? Maybe it's one of those things that after the first rain, we, we end up going, oh, that looks quite nice, actually. Maybe we'll end up loving it. Maybe. Maybe they'll end up being our favourites. Maybe. But at the minute, they look like shit. Okay, so I'm gonna ask Nadia out here now because I think that maybe en masse these pots might deliver a more impactful statement. Uh, not entirely certain. So I'm just moving that to the side so I can get some sunlight on my head. Um, okay, I'm just hoping, I've just pulled my hat to one side not to look like an absolute burp, though I do, just to get you a bit of sunlight. You always look a burp when you pull your head to one side. But listen, I'm hoping that en masse, these pots might win you over. Just hoping. Sorry. Stay there, and when I call, come round the corner. And go. Oh my God, Mark, they look worse. They were a hundred Pounds? <laughs> you should be embarrassed with the neighbours. I wouldn't dream of paying a hundred pounds for those, Mark.
but that's not what I thought I bought. <laughs> Oh my god, they're awful. What can we put next to them so people can get an idea of the size? Let me get a tin. Hang on. I'll tell you what they are good for. Look, they match the colour of the bird shit. Yeah, look. they look like bird shit. They do. Look, that's how big they are. What can we bloody plant in them? Nothing. What are we going to do with the box and all the plastic? I'll burn the box and I'll just get rid of the plastic, recycle the plastic. Toffee, what do you think? She no. thinks it's a joke. Set Mark, seller. maybe once the white has settled down, they won't look so bad. That's what I'm hoping. Maybe they're over white because they know they're going to get weathered. What about crocuses? Yeah, I think pretty flowers in the summer would be Yay. nice. Pretty flowers. I like pretty flowers. Pretty flowers. 25 quid. You know what might look nice in them? Parsley and basil. Herbs. Herbs. Yeah. I think herbs would look really nicer. Maybe we put them here on the window with herbs. No, they're so horrible. We don't want them in the house. Hide them, babe. Hide them. The theme of your terrible presents. <laughs> I mean, I've learned about ten awful presents now. All right. All right. No, but I have, from dead plants to things that are just sticks by the time you give them to me because you've left them for ages. Yeah, but we're only talking about garden to onions. presents. Oh yeah, other presents are great, but garden presents are shit. Oh, I think. What do you think of those pots? Sorry, you can tell the truth. She looked at me, bless her. You can tell the truth. It's mm. a present from Daddy to me. What do you think of them? Hundred pounds for four of them. They look like when Maddie made pots at pottery. That's <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I said to Daddy. It looks like somebody's kids made them, but it's not our kids. We'd have to pretend that you and Maddie made them to be able to. Yeah, but they don't. Want, they don't want to be associated pounds. with that. Hundred pounds. They look like they haven't even been painted badly properly, have they? Yeah, they haven't even. Why are they white at the top? Exactly, they haven't even been painted badly and properly. And they're small. Mark, the thing is, what you always have to do, you know the way I'm always asking for a tape measure, pass me a tape measure, pass me a tape measure? It's because whenever I'm looking at stuff to buy, I'm like, I now always measure. Because the measurements of things, they photograph everything to make it look really big. And then you get it, and it's like, what really disappoints me about that purchase is I am the kind of guy who never, am I Nadia, I never wantonly commit to an online purchase no. like that, thinking, and I just thought on this one, I thought, okay, it feels a bit steep financially, but they look bloody gorgeous. It'll be transformational for the pots. And that's what I got. I mean, I'm so disappointed. What do they look like? The flower pot men would be deeply embarrassed by those. Wouldn't they?